Greetings and salutations, my name's JW608, and today I am not playing Starmate. Well, I was playing Starmate earlier today, but right now I'm not. I figured, um, my thumbnail, you've seen my thumbnail for my Starmate videos, and I have a little block astronaut. Well, it took me all of like three minutes to draw him, so I thought he needs an update. So I did a little doodle, and I thought, I'm gonna ink this, and might as well have you come along with me. So I've got my pen and my ink here. Sorry about the lighting, it's not the best, but... My camera does not like the lights I have set up, and I'm using this, um, Liquitech ink, Liquitex ink, and a, just a speedball pen with, was that, a, a Globe Imperial nib, and I have a little bit of a pool noodle here so I don't tip the, the jar over again. Alright, and make sure I got at least some ink flow there. Yeah, you can see that. And now we're just going to ink, ink and talk. Probably knock stuff off my desk. And there we go. The first mark, usually the hardest. If you're not sure about it. And let's see. I'm going to be turning this, this notebook over and over and over. The first time I've done any inking in this particular notebook. And get a little more ink loaded in there. There we go. Uh, there's a quite the tooth to the uh, to the paper. I was thinking my uh, my little block astronaut he needed an update, so might as well do him right this time, as opposed to scribbling him in paint. And thought you'd enjoy coming along for the ride. Might not. If you don't, that's okay. I uploaded Starmate today anyway, so you can go watch that. Let's see. And a little bit of reflection there. Look at the arms. There. Sort of want that that uh, rigid look. You know, the or ribbed, I guess. You know how astronaut sleeves kind of a a rib to them. I wanted to do that without actually explicitly drawing the rib. And lucky little astronaut and waving hello. I'm not going to color them on camera. I'll probably do that off camera on them digitally. That's not as fun to, to watch or to show off and I'm not good at it. So, get out of the way. There we go. So I do plan on colorizing him and making him pretty and all that. Just probably not today. And if he turns out all right, well, first of all, you'll see this video, and second of all, you'll see him in my new thumbnails. No clue when they're gonna come out. Or if they're going to come out, this video will probably come out before I start using the new thumbnails. I just thought it was time to revamp. I've tried a couple different styles, but it's been basically the same since the beginning. And this other blocky little hand. Let's see how I'm doing on ink. Uh, that's not bad. You can get a little further. Let's just go ahead and get the rest of his body. And right here where is all this clothes, or his, uh, his spacesuit kind of bunches. Because it's being restricted by the belt. This belt right here. There you go. We're going to draw a happy little astronaut. And we'll give him a belt buckle. Alright. Now uh, let's finish the outline. There's junk on my... It's amazing, there's junk on my desk keeping me from moving my uh, notebook appropriately. Well, freely. Let's see, more words. No. Alright. I'm going to wash my brush, my brush, my um, nib a bit. Uh, this is just isopropyl rubbing alcohol. I have a nib in there. I had a spot that was hard to get off, so I'm letting it soak a bit. Alright. I'm just going to dip that in here. I have an old t-shirt that I've been using for cleaning. There we 
go. Okay. Mm, looks good. And I really like the eyedroppers better than, than actually dipping the dip pen because I can see what's going on better. I knocked over a bottle of ink off camera. Glad it was off camera and that the, the lid was on good. Alright. Back to the drawing. This is what you came well, I don't know what you came here to see, but this is the main event anyway. Let's see. Alright. Probably gonna have to go back over the these and darken these lines a bit. And these weirdly little bent legs. Yeah, but I've always had my I no I have not always had my block astronaut. I think the first ten episodes they did not have a the my block astronaut, it was just text on a star background. I don't think I've ever really been happy with my thumbnails. But we're gonna change that. We're actually gonna put some work into it. And indication of a foot. I'm just gonna draw a happy little space boot. A happy little space boot. There we go. And let's throw the zipper next. We'll draw, I mean, line, ink even. Ink is zipper. Already drew it. There we go. I kind of like the idea of the zipper. And I have this zipper here that I've traced out. We're going to take it all the way down to his belt. It doesn't really look like a zipper right now. We'll have to do something about that to make it more zippery. Maybe connecting these? That'll look more zippery. Maybe if we even... Oh, not of ink again. Alright, we're gonna give him another swipe. And... Eh, it's more zippery. Ah, eh, it's close enough. Alright. That was a little emblem here. I have a planet with a ring around it. Let's draw the ring first. Then the planet. And any of these little mistakes, like right there, I have a line going over or crossing over too much. I'll fix those and in post. I'll fix those in post. I'll fix those digitally. Um, like, right... Oh, no, that was a speck of dirt. Never mind. A speck of dust. Sometimes I think it's... It's, uh... Ink, it's... Sometimes a bit of a racer or whatnot. Let's give him a little shoulder badge. And... Now he only needs one shoulder badge. And I had pockets originally. There we go. Kind of do that for his pockets, and let's see. Do we want to? Yeah, let's see if we can cross hatches his uh, helmet. All right. Hatching, and I mean not just maybe not cross hatch, but hatch his helmet. Hatching is just drawing a bunch of lines to indicate shading. This is probably a bad idea. Got too much there. There we go. I could probably load this pen more. The load that is get more ink on it, but I need to find my rhythm. But uh Yeah, I'm gonna come back and clean this hatching up digitally. I'm better catching little Spots, not this great big, huge expanse of a space helmet. Although, you do get in the get in the flow of it after a while. There we go. And yeah, these bits here, I'll come back in and 
in uh, my software and clean those up. Hey, what do you think? Would you? Should I put them on a T-shirt? I might put them on a T-shirt. That'd be that'd be neat. Would y'all be interested in a block astronaut T-shirt? Let me know in the comments. If I get some response, well, we might even make a t-shirt with this guy on him. Let's see, let's darken these lines. Now, he's going to be against a back, black background, so this is not entirely necessary for the thumbnail. But, for my own personal uh, reasons, I will use them for other things as well. Like if we decide to do a t-shirt, I'd like to have a thicker black outline. I'll come back and I'll erase the uh, the pencil markings of once this ink's dried a bit. Let's see, just kind of go. And whoops. Constantly turning the paper. Always amazed, and I see the the guys who are guys and gals who uh, do speed drawings and whatnot, and their paper's stationary and it doesn't move at all. They don't twist their sketchbook or anything. I mean, wow, how can you do that? When when I ink, I have to move everything because I don't want to be trying to reach some strange corner. Hold my pen all the way out here. Now, some people prefer the folding the pen. I like it. I could um, hold it a little closer. I guess it's just personal preference. Really gonna come in, give his belt a little more room. Okay. And I don't want to detail him terribly because, well, probably I'm gonna detail him terribly. I mean, I don't want to give him a tremendous low amount of detail because it's gonna be in a thumbnail mostly. He's gonna be shrunk down. All right, let's. Well, and some of this ink off. Okay. Or it dries in there, and I think I'm getting bits of paper stuck in the in the nib build up. Yeah. And if you'd like to get into into inking or dip pens, they're uh, fairly easy to get into. A uh, bottle of ink, like uh, like the. Liquitex here, I think I paid $5 at a Michael's Hobby Lobby, something like that, but they constantly have coupons or like half off, 40% off, so I think it ended up being like 2 bucks for this. Although I also really like this Speedball acrylic ink. Uh, both these are acrylic inks. Um, you can use fountain pen ink, but it's nowhere near as... Or it's, it doesn't have the, the pigmentation, and it's really runny. So I'll use it for certain effects or when I'm painting with, with ink. But I, I think I like the, the acrylic inks here. Uh, Black India ink is also another another uh, popular one. Like this Higgins Black India. Uh, that's good for a dip pen. Although the Higgins for me, I can't get it to flow quite right. At least not with these nibs. Now I don't recommend getting the, the pen or the nibs from a... A art, uh, a craft store, is they mark them up something crazy, and fifteen dollars for one of these plastic holders and a three or four nibs. Now, if you're looking just for a nib and you need it immediately, they usually carry a couple at a Michaels or a Hobby Lobby, something like that. I'd order online. Um, I've got my first ink pen, a real ink pen. It was a wooden, actually. I, Oh, it's right here. It was in a kit on sale. Here it is, my first pen nib holder. Uh, and it had all types of little nibs that came with it. They were uh, they're pretty much junk. But it was on sale at a place called Jerry's Artorama. So I said, oh, I've never done that. I want to give it a try. So I did, and I enjoyed it. Now I've moved on to um, Speedball. That's the, the brand I'm using now. I, I really like the Speedball, the plastic pen holder. And the uh, speedball nibs. Now they're a little easier to find for me. All right. 
and finish off the bottom of his foot, just making it a little darker. You can probably see it a little better on, on camera as well, and this is very soothing, very therapeutic. Just following the lines, you don't even have to think something good, just scribble something out and just play. Or you don't even need the, the, the pencil drawing, you can just draw with ink. One of the, the best things I've done with ink, the most challenging, helped me to grow the most, was the Inktober. And you saw that, uh, my results there, if not, um, I think it was November or something or another, I put up my Inktober drawings. And that was a blast. I really enjoyed that. Uh, those of you who don't know, Inktober is a challenge. You make an ink drawing every day in the month of October. I successfully completed it. I was happy about that. I was learned a lot. Not happy with all my doodles, but overall I enjoyed it. And let's see. Let's see, we darken up the... Oh, I thought I grabbed his hand. Uh oh. Darken up his... Uh, Helmet there. I think my computer dinged at me. I wonder what went wrong. I don't like it when my computer dings. Alright, and let's see. How about this portion where the hand connects to the suit? We'll make that a little darker. Give that line a little more value. And at the top of the cuff of the boot, anywhere where the suit transitions, we're going to make a little darker. I think we're going to leave the belt the same value, or same um, thickness there, and the cuffs of the, the spacesuit we're going to leave without the thickened line, or the this part of the cuff. Alright, I keep looking over, checking, make sure I have ink, and I'm not going to run out. That's what I'm doing on, when I turn my pin over like that. I'm checking the, the reservoir of ink. Because it kind of pools up in here. And I go over that spot again. Alright. He doesn't look half bad. Let's add just a little more here. Oh, a little thicker. Okay, and I'm not going to thicken this because I'm going to come back and I'm going to digitally darken that. I'm not real happy with the, the hatching there, but mm, you don't know till you try. And probably color them and shade them and all that jazz. Let's see, how dry is our, our uh, ink? Clean this pen, this nib off, the, the little metal bit we call it the nib. Let's see. And how dry are you, Mr. Mr. Astronaut? Probably not the best way to do this. And if you are inking, or in this hobby, or planning on getting in it, I recommend finding some lava soap. Um, I forget who makes it. Is it WD-40 who makes it? I don't know where to get it. I, I found a bar somewhere. No, oh, somebody gave me a bar of it. And, uh, excellent for taking ink off. And I had an ink spill and I had ink everywhere on my hand. Well, on my hands. And it scrubbed the ink right off. I think it's like sandpaper mostly, but. And I just have this. I don't even know what type of eraser this was. I picked it up for a quarter or something. Ooh, and it's starting to rip. Huh. And the, the ink dries just fine, and this particular, well, most inks don't really care about erasers afterwards, and that's really good. If you're inking a, a drawing and you want to get rid of the underlayer, just erase it. Now, if you do a uh, pencil layer for something like a water painting, and then you're, it's harder to erase. Huh. But ink, that's eh, just fine. And actually, the, the acrylic inks and the uh, India inks, they're waterproof. So if I wanted, I could take a, a paintbrush and dip it in some water, which I don't have, and just 
go over here and the water wouldn't affect the the, the lines, it would just paint over it. In fact, um, we get some watercolors and paint them up like that, but I think I want a little bolder than the, my ability at watercolors, so I'm going to go in and color him digitally later. Okay, now now that cannot be said of of a uh, fountain pen ink. This is not water soluble, or it is water soluble. It is not waterproof. So if you were to put down, uh, if I did this in in the fountain pen ink, first of all, it wouldn't be nearly as dark. And I took my brush with water and I swiped. Well, there'd be streaks of black in the water, where where the the water actually dissolves the 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 ink and carries it away, almost like a watercolor. Alright. That was fun. And I've been GW608, and this has been the inking of our block astronaut. We'll be seeing him around. Alright, now I need to try to reach my computer to turn this off. I'll dig you cats later.